Finally, Infrastructure Week. <laughs> I'm so happy to say that, Infrastructure Week. <laughs> Folks, yesterday, I don't think it's an exaggeration to suggest that we took a monumental step forward as a nation. We learned that our economy created 5.6 million jobs since we took office in January 20th, reached an unemployment rate of 4.6 percent, two full years earlier than the vast majority of economists projected that would happen. And we've just, we're just getting started. We did something uh, that's long overdue, that long has been talked about in Washington, but never actually been done. The House of Representatives passed an Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. That's a fancy way of saying a bipartisan infrastructure bill, a once-in-a-generation investment that's going to create millions of jobs, modernize our infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our broadband, a whole range of things, to turn the climate crisis into an opportunity. And it puts us on a path to win the economic competition of the 21st century that we face with China and other large countries and the rest of the world. But we're looking more forward to having shovels in the ground to begin rebuilding America. And for all of you at home who feel left behind and forgotten in an economy that's changing so rapidly, this bill is for you. The vast majority of the thousands of jobs that will be created don't require a college degree. There'll be jobs in every part of the country, red states, blue states, cities, small towns, rural communities, tribal communities. This is a blue-collar blueprint to rebuild America. 